how do we navigate the patents act and the patents rule the patents act and the patent rules are pieces of legislation which are meant normally to a person who is specialized in law we expect a person who is a specialist in law either a lawyer or a person who is pursuing a career in law a law student and it becomes easy for them to understand the scheme of the act the act has certain parts to it the act has a particular structure the act has certain parts to it there are certain sections to the act like the preliminary part which introduces certain elements of the act there is a definitional clause which defines various words and phrases used in the act and the act has a structure the act follows the life of a patent it begins with how to file a patent application it goes upon through the process of grant and finally it ends up with how a patent can be revoked or what happens if a patent falls into the public domain after its term and instances where the patent can be compulsory license where it can be acquired and used by the government for a person who does not have a legal background it could be difficult to understand certain the scheme of the act and also understand the way in which the act is worded since this course is based on the act and we have mentioned that the act and the rules forms part of the syllabus in understanding the course we have devised a color coded act which makes it easier for a person who is exposed to the patents act for the first time even a person who using the patents act still the color coded act it's largely remains the same bare act but the color coding helps them to quickly glance at the relevant parts of the patents act and the rules and the ipab rules what we have done we have not only color coded the title of each section we have also picked up the parts that could be important so at a glance you will get to know what are the important things in the act we will show you an example of that we have also given cross references the color coding also moves to the cross references now if you see assignee here then we give all the parts all the forms ff pertains to forms where the term assignee appears if we mention budapest treaty then we give the cross reference to where it appears so it becomes much easier for you to understand where these parts come in capable of industrial application again you see the definition where it appears so this makes it very easy for a person who starts this process of learning directly from legal bar act much easier and and if you come to some provision like if we quickly take you to the section 6 here persons who can apply now persons you can apply you can just quickly glance following persons true and first inventor assignee legal representative or deceased person and the next part tells you that they can do it alone or jointly so this becomes and we also give all the cross references wherever it is relevant this makes it very easy for you to understand the scheme of the act